بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as just some reminders and some benefits from Surah Al-Ma'oon I thought it would be beneficial just as a quick brief reminder of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran, some of those attributes that we want to avoid and what we want to gain and what we want to possess that's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يضع اليتيم ولا يحد على تعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس كتاب الكريم أرأيت الذي يكذبوا بالدين Have you seen those who deny the deen and here, the deen is in reference to Yom Al-Qiyamah, the Day of Judgment, because during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, some of the uh, pagan Arabs, they denied Yom Al-Qiyamah. So maybe they believed in some aspects of the deen, but they denied and they would debate about being resurrected in the hereafter and that there being a Yom Al-Deen, Al-Waqi'a, Al-Haq, you know, the Day of Reckoning. The, the, the true reality, the truth. They denied this. They denied Yom Al Qiyamah, the day of judgment, the day of resurrection, when we'll be all gathered together before our Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and judged and held accountable for how we lived in this life. And this is the one that does not give to the, that leaves off the, denies the yatim, the orphan. So this same one that does not believe in Yom Al-Qiyamah in the day of resurrection, likewise, they deny the yatim, they deny the orphan. So it shows us that the opposite of this characteristic is those who give to the orphans. So be be vigilant and spending your wealth in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give to those yatim, those people who have no father. Give to them if you have the ability. Marry from them if you have the means as a man to marry from the orphan women. So this is something which is great and immense and beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you spend on them and you treat them with goodness and kindness because they are the weak and oppressed often in many societies and those who are not looked out for. If you look in many of the, even the non, uh, non-Muslim and Muslim societies, you'll find, for example, in Brazil, the street children. No one cares anything about them and they may have no mother or father. So how is it, can you imagine a little boy or a little girl who lives in fear until they get to an age where their heart is hardened and they're just into criminal conduct in order to survive because they were the weak and the oppressed and no one cared for them. So it's very important to understand this and to care for the yatim. وَلَا يُحُدُّ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Nor do they urge people to spend on the poor, those people who are miskeen, who, 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 who have not, not enough to eat, or maybe have nothing to eat. So the trade of Ahli Iman is that they will spend on them. They spend on the poor. They look out for their needs, for the needy. And they encourage others to Look out for the needy. So do not be like those people who not only don't spend on the poor, but they encourage people or they discourage people to spend on the poor. So they hamper khair. 
They are a cut, they cut off the path to goodness. Don't be like them. وَإِيَّاذٌ بِاللَّهِ وَإِيَّاكُمْ مِنْ ذَلِكَ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ Woe to those who pray. How could this be? Woe to those who pray. We know prayer is a pillar of Islam, the second pillar of Islam. It is the tie between you and your Lord, the communication, and the one who leaves it as the Prophet ﷺ said, Man taraka salat faqad kafara. Whoever leaves the prayer has disbelief. We know that it's alim. So we know the prayer is so important for us as Muslims. Establishing the, the five daily prayers. Never leave your salat. And, and tr concentrate and try to focus on improving your prayer, your communication with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ Woe to those who pray. That means these people actually come to the masjid. They come and pray. Why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say this very strong word, woe to them? You know, you know, those people be cautious of being like them. This is, they're in a serious trouble. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains who they are. Those are the ones who are careless about their prayer. That's a reminder for me and you. Don't be careless about your prayer. We may pray. I pray five times a day. I'm, I'm, I'll acknowledge that. Alhamdulillah. But how is your prayer? What's the quality of your prayer? Are you busy with the dunya thinking about your how you're going to get this money? How you're going to do this? You're going to get married? You're going to do this? You're going to all these kind of things that distract you. Or just even things, oh, there's a game on, the soccer match, the football match, the MMA fight is coming on, uh, uh, Habib's got a new fight. We're, 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 you know, how are we going to, you know, I, I got to hurry up and make my salat so I can get to that fight. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is cautioning a bit against being those people who will come to the prayer lazily. They come in a lazy state and they come to the prayer without concentrating. They're not focused on their prayer. SubhanAllah. These are the ones, so they come to the prayer. Allah is cautioning about being like them. They come to the prayer. They're lazy to the prayer. And on top of that, they do it in order that the people would praise them. Ra'un, riya. Shirk al askar the minor shirk that they're showing off in their prayer. So they're praying and sharing the reward of their prayer or losing the reward of their prayer because they're showing off in front of the people. They just want to be seen in the ranks. They want to be seen perfecting their prayer. Wa'iyadhin billah wa'iyakum min dhalik. Alladheena hum yara'oon wa yamna'oon al ma'oon. And they prohibit al-ma'oon. Al-ma'oon, ahabatifillah, these are the small kindnesses. These are the everyday needs that people may need. Whether that be food and water, whether it be just a helping hand, whether it be a smile, just small kindnesses to make your day and make someone else's day. Don't be like those who are stingy with that. A lot of us are stingy with our money. And you're going to be stingy and even the things that you can easily do, give the brother a ride to the masjid. Uh, give the sister the five dollars she needed to buy some sugar for her house. Or whatever the case may be. You don't want to be like those who يَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ They prohibit the small kindnesses. So we see from the traits of the believers that they are giving. They give. They give from their time. They give from their wealth. They give and do good deeds. And from the traits of the believers, we see that they are they focus on their prayer. They pray and they focus on their prayer. They find comfort in their prayer. They seek to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their salat. And they do small kindnesses. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who have the attributes of good from Surah Al-Ma'un and protect us from the attributes of shar that are mentioned in that surah and and throughout the Quran and throughout the authentic Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.